Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Boats and Streams. So let's get started. The first question is, the boat covers 40 kilometers downstream and 20 kilometers upstream in 5 hours each. Find the velocity of the current. Before solving the sum, we know the velocity of the current formula is half into downstream speed minus upstream speed. So let's get started now. So they have given that boat covers 40 kilometers downstream. So, distance is 40 kilometers and the time taken is 5 hours each. So, downstream also 5 hours, upstream also 5 hours. So, the time taken is 5 hours. So, we know the formula speed is equal to distance by time. So, we know the distance, we know the time. So, let's find the speed. So, d is 40 and the time is 5 which is nothing but 8. So, the speed downstream is nothing but 8 kilometers per hour. Now, we have to find the upstream speed. So, upstream speed, similarly, the distance covered is 20 kilometers. Time, we know that it's 5 hours each. So, the speed is nothing but d by t, which is 20 by 5, which is equal to 4. We know the downstream speed, we know the upstream speed. Let's substitute in the formula. So, velocity of current is nothing but half into speed downstream minus speed upstream. So, half into what is downstream speed? 8 minus upstream speed is 4. So, 4 by 2. So, the velocity of the current is 2 kilometers per hour. Let's solve another sum. So, the second question is, a boat takes 90 minutes to travel 36 miles downstream than to travel the same distance upstream. If the speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour, find the speed of the stream. So, let's get started. So, they have given that a boat takes 90 minutes less to travel 36 miles per hour. So, first we will see the downstream speed and the upstream speed. So, we know that the speed of the boat in still water is 10. Plus, let's take the unknown value as x. For downstream, we know we have to add it. And for the upstream, we will take it as 10 minus x. So, x is nothing but the speed of the stream. So, they have also given in the question that it takes 90 minutes less to travel 36 miles, which is nothing but the difference between the downstream and the upstream speed is 90 minutes. So, how much distance they have to travel, which is 36. So, 36 by 10 minus x minus 36 by 10 plus x is equal to 90 by 60. So, let's just cross multiply now. 360 plus 36x minus 360 plus 36x divided by 10 minus x into 10 plus x which is equal to 90 by 60. So, 360 and 360 get cancelled and the remaining is nothing but 72x. So, let's solve this 72x divided by 100 minus x square. This is nothing but 10 plus x into 10 minus x which is nothing but a square minus b square, which is 10 square, which is 100 minus x square is equal to 90, 60. So, let's just cross multiply it. 72x into 60 is equal to 90 into 100 minus x square. 2, 3, 4, 144x is equal to 300 minus 3x square. So, let's all bring everything to one side. So, it becomes 3x square plus 144x minus 300 is equal to 0. And now everything get me solved by 3. So, divided by 3. 4s are 12. 8s are minus 100 equal to 0. So, the equation that we got is x square plus 48x minus 100 equal to 0. So, we know that we can solve it like sum is equal to 48 and product is equal to minus 100 which is nothing but 52, 50 into minus 2 which is equal to x is equal to minus 50 or x is equal to 2. So, the value of x is nothing but 2 here. So, we know we got two values here. One is x is equal to minus 50 and x is equal to 2. So, we do take the positive value. So, what is the question? The question was what was the speed of the stream? So, speed of the stream is nothing but 2 miles per hour. So, let's go to the another question. So, the next question is a man can row at 5 kilometers per hour in a still water. If the velocity of the current is 1 km per hour and it takes him 1 hour to row to a place and come back, how far is the place? So, they are basically asking for the distance. So, first let's take the downstream. 
So how much time it takes? It takes 5 kilometers per hour and the current speed is nothing but 1 kilometers per hour. So 5 plus 1 which is nothing but 6 kilometers per hour. So for upstream which is nothing but 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 kilometers per hour. So now we know downstream and as well as upstream. So they are basically asking you to find the distance. So they have also told that it takes him one hour to row to a place and then come back. So both upstream and downstream. So which is nothing but x by 6 plus x by 4 is equal to 1. So once we solve the sum and find x, that is nothing but the distance of the place. So 4x plus 6x divided by 24 equal to 1. 4x plus 6x is equal to 24. I think my 10x is equal to 24 and x is equal to 2.4 kilometers. So the distance of the place is nothing but 2.4 kilometers. So in the present video, we discussed about the some of the tougher problems that you might face in boats and streams. In the upcoming videos, we'll be dealing with much tougher problems in the same concept. So if you're a person who's looking for a job, kindly register on freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.